Longleaf pine forests represent some of the world's most biologically diverse ecosystems, providing critical habitat for 29 threatened or endangered species. These forests once encompassed more than 90 million acres of the North American landscape, but today only 3% of that acreage remains. Fortunately, efforts are underway to restore this uniquely American ecosystem. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service and its partners in nine states are helping private landowners improve the sustainability and profitability of these forests through the Longleaf Pine Initiative. I was excited about the Longleaf Pine Initiative because it's needed in this area. Um, traditionally, there was longleaf pine here. Uh, the elders saw longleaf pine and, you know, for this range, for the types of operations uh, that occur here in Borgard and Vernon Parish, longleaf pine a lot of times is the way to go. To me, it's for a landowner who's interested in land use management, whether you enjoy the, the opportunity to, to, to hunt or do recreation on your property or whether you're going to have people come and, and pay for that privilege. And the best thing about it for our participants is because it's for anybody. You know, if you have the property and you're willing to do some timber management or wildlife management, the Longleaf Pine Initiative is a great way to go. I've always liked the Longleaf. They're pretty trees. They always uh, straight, nice looking trees. And I've always wanted to plant Longleaf. NRCS Farm Bill Conservation Programs, such as the Wildlife Habitat Incentives Program, or WIP, provide landowners with the technical and financial assistance they need to restore longleaf pine ecosystems. The WIP program was designed not only for the landowner to put money back into the community. Um, when we cost share a longleaf pine planting to a landowner, we're not just paying the landowner. He, the landowner's taking that money and paying a contractor. The contractor's paying uh, the company who has developed the seedling. Um, they're also contracting out the prescribed burn consultants, the forestry consultants. Um, if you want to go buy seed to plant conservation cover, that money's designed to go down to the local feed and seed store to purchase some seed. So that money that you're paying, you know, our citizens pay in taxes is not just going to one person, it's spreading out into the community. I've worked with the NRCS for many years and, and enjoyed it. They've uh, been very beneficial for us because they could secure some funds to replant and, and demonstrate that the longleaf is a viable tree in our area because of uh, you know, the, uh, the ground situation we have here is good conducive for longleaf growth. And also the mills uh, tend to like longleaf a little bit more. Slash and long, longleaf are too in demand for uh, plywood and poles. Well, I like to see uh, the quail come back for one thing because we've always had uh, quail in our, our neighborhood and our, where we lived when I was growing up. And just recently I've heard a couple of quail out there, you know, whistling. And uh, that was one reason I wanted longleaf. Another reason I just, since we have grown trees and grown longleaf all my life, I wanted to continue that on, that, on our place at, where I live. Prescribed burning is an important management tool in establishing a healthy stand of longleaf pines. Burning accomplishes uh, the wildlife, helps it a lot, and uh, it gets rid of the competition and let the pines grow better. Longleaf requires the burning, whereas you, you can have an option on the other trees. But I don't mind burning, I do that. The benefits of planting longleaf in my book is it helps the environment. It's bringing native trees back to southwest Louisiana. They remember this, and they want to restore it back to what they had when they were kids, and that's what we're trying to do. Not only are you getting multi-use through timber management, wildlife habitat management, you know, and pasture and grazing management, but you also, you're reintroducing, you know, some of these endangered species, like the red cockaded woodpecker, you know, through prescribed burn in some of our low-lying areas, you may see the, the endangered pitcher plants maybe coming back as well. And as the forests grow and thrive through the years, they will provide a home to some of America's unique plants and animals. <laughs>